All right, so we are here to test opacity of a bunch of different things. So what I'm gonna do is you can see the light shining from this bulb onto this back wall. You wanna pay attention here how much light we're blocking in order to rank these. So the first thing we're gonna test is a zip top bag. So watch the light over here as we lower it over the bulb. And make a note of how much light it blocks. The less light it blocks, the less opaque. So opacity means cloudiness. So we're looking at how transparent are these. Second thing we're gonna test is this um, lab bottle. This is made of high density polyethylene. So it's nice and firm. So just making a note of how much light it's blocking. Next up is a sheet of Teflon. Next up is our first biopolymer. So this is a um, polymer I made out of starch and dried. Next is my gelatin polymer. It's a little bit of a funky shape, but you know, it's all right, it'll work. This is made out of gelatin and then dried. And finally is a block of styrofoam, polystyrene. All right, here we are to test gloss. This is a tricky one, as is opacity. So what I'm gonna do is we have our bulb set up here and I'm going to hold my substance on the other side of the bulb so we can see how shiny it is. So gloss is how shiny something is. So here is my first one. This is my plastic bag. Next up is my plastic lab bottle. Next up is my Teflon sheet. Super dull. Hard to get any sort of shine on that. My starch polymer. My gelatin polymer. Much shinier than the starch, look at that. And finally, my styrofoam block. So this one's tricky because it's reflective, but it's not shiny. It's kind of hard to see on the video. So this is not super glossy, but it is reflecting light.